Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, December 18th. Last three days of trading. Yesterday was so boring. How was that? How boring was that? My lord. Um, we're not too far where we left things. Uh, Euro's come off a little bit. Uh, Euro yen is looking a little bit... Um, a bit slippery on the left hand side today we got we got Christine Lagarde um, our Mediterranean lady even though she's from the north of France she looks like she's from the south of France um, speaking today 930 we also have German IFO we have inflation data out of the UK let's be careful of that inflation data the market seems still a little bit caught long cable um, we will be looking for places to tactically get long cable today certainly if the inflation is uh, beats we will use that as a, as a platform to get long but we've done a bit of research into the cable market and and uh, looks like there's a lot of derivatives on the downside uh, we were told reliably that there's knockouts below you know guys guys bought top side with knockouts below to cheapen and now they're all getting knocked out it looks like so we do think cable in two or three weeks is going to be a lot higher but we got to let this market do what it needs to do and in FX uh, that means screw everybody um, before it resumes its normal travel so careful on cable uh, but let's have a quick look at this uh, euro yen here doji yesterday uh, so indecision here on a very little stupid uh, shitty bar meaningless really in the scheme of things we're still looking at this big bar here from Friday the 13th guns start blazing below 40 uh, but the question is can you uh, start selling here um, below 80 we actually traded 77 on Monday uh, and it was a funny 77, right? I only know this because we had orders in that area uh, that did not get done. It kind of traded, but then someone came in 80 bid very quickly. And now you see there's someone at 80. So if it gets through 80, you might want to sell some of this. I don't know who's there. I don't really care. Um, careful about Lagarde. Careful about IFO. Uh, but euro yen downside is of interest to us today. Dollar yen, we just couldn't get through 72. My lord, I mean, what? Holy Hannah, two straight days, kind of top of the range up here. I don't know what to do with dollar yen. I mean, if we do get through 72, that means there's news and there's something wonderful or something amazing, or it's the BOJ. Uh, so you can treat this as a pure break trade. You can just enter, say, at 75 and then have a look around, see what's going on. But if you're going to position trade this, it looks like short's the way now. A lot of people are going to be stale long, waiting for the 72 break. This does not look like it's going to happen. Are we going to go down and revisit 108.40? Uh, reminder BOJ I believe tomorrow tomorrow morning like 5.30 a.m. something uh, yeah some very unpleasant early morning release um, so BOJ tomorrow this will be a big uh, this will be more of a catalyst uh, in dollar yen I don't think they're gonna do anything but you gotta be aware of this stuff right uh, if you go to Euro this kind of looks like the euro yen chart and, and there's no coincidence euro is being driven by the crosses this last two weeks so when euro sterling goes up euro goes up when euro yen goes down euro dollar goes down so euro crosses are the driver of euro dollar uh, again Lagarde today and IFO the key moment which will be the equivalent of 40 in euro yen is the figure in euro dollar 111.01 
the trade of the year uh, for 220 for 2020 is to be short dollars there are going to be plenty of people already short dollars trying to front run that early January week flow so this could happen folks it's middle of the range I, I wouldn't I don't I'm not going to treat it like it's going to be some miracle trade. It's just tactical hit and run. There's three days left in the trading year. Uh, but be aware uh, there will be risk downside euro. Uh, and one of the reasons this euro yen is setting up, now it just kind of looks ominous, right? And there's a couple of uh, magnetic levels attracting here. Uh, euro Swiss on its knees. I don't know. Like it's hard to really like dial in and and uh, trade a big ass story when you only have three days left to trade. Let's look at gold. It's doing nothing. Um, there are some lines you could draw here. There's this line, um, but we're not super interested in drawing lines in gold, even though that's a beautiful trend line. Um, comes in at 69. The question is, is is 114.46 going to get dinged um, before year end? That will screw a lot of people. Uh, consensus is to be long gold. Uh, we don't have a, we don't, we're not playing in gold, no dog in that fight, but uh, I just wanted to mention it. Not really a whole ton more to say. Uh, like I said, it's a euro yen focus today. Um, core short euro yen looks looks to be the way. Uh, watch out for the bid at 80. We also have um, in the U.S. as far as uh, oh we have European inflation numbers as well today at 11. A uh, very Eurocentric morning as far as releases. We've got Canadian inflation out today, um, and really nothing out of the U.S. Fed Evan speaking. So the afternoon looks like it's going to be a Canadian, Canadian job. Uh, we can have a quick look at CAD yen, which we've had signals on the downside. CAD yen. Where is she? Anyway, CAD yen downside for Canadian inflation uh, could be important. So we printed this. We talked about this on Monday. Sell between 30 and 50. Um, 09 has been the low. It's 12.13 now. The turn in CAD yen looks interesting for us. For those of you who are interested in uh, risk on much higher, uh, the bingo point is uh, obviously through those highs, 56. All right. I'm going to hop here, people. Good luck today. Make some dough. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Big, busy day tomorrow full of central banks. So let's be ready. Ciao.